Hello, welcome back. Um, it's a new recording session. I haven't played Caves of Cud in about a week. Uh, I've been busy trying to finish up the Moon Ring series, which is done now. <laughs> um, why is that relevant? Well, I've I have noticed a trend, and I would like to break this trend. And uh, let me just get my thoughts out before I actually start doing anything. I've noticed that I will have a nice kind of like streak of like easygoing progress and then cap off a session. And I'm like, okay, that's good for the day. And then I'll go and you know do other things. And then when I do my start, my new uh, recording session of Caves of Cud, I'm like, okay, now let's completely switch gears and do something else. And then I'll die, you know, like I'll, I'll ruin a good thing. And I don't want to ruin a good thing. Right now, I've gone to an immense amount of effort and explored the entire six day still or uh, salt desert. Um, and uh, it would be just just really awful to ruin all of that effort. Um, now, I did say I was going to do Bethesda Sousa. I am open to doing Beth Bethesda Sousa, but I think what I'd like to do as well um, is maybe just like do a little bit of exploring the marsh like there's still a bit of marsh left i know i listen i know i know we're not going to be doing much of this it's really just to uh you know it's like a i don't know how many artists there are in the comments but you might be able to uh you might resonate with the idea of doing like you know a warm-up uh sketch you know you do a warm-up sketch if you're not an artist uh i'm sure there's other ways of, you know like it, it reminds me of an old, um, who was it? Was it George Carlin? Old George Carlin joke. Nobody jumps out of bed and vacuums, you know? Um, and, uh, there's wisdom in that. Um, I think that, n you know, no matter who you are or how you work, uh, what you do, you, uh, it's very difficult to just kind of like start, you know? Like, you don't, no one starts their day and, uh, immediately does something difficult. Or if you do, you know, good for you, honestly. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to be warming up with a little bit of salt marsh exploration. Uh, nothing too dicey, nothing too severe. Uh, wouldn't it be like some just like the worst, absolute worst thing if I like just happen to come across like something horrible and you know the thing is uh this is the other thing is i i feel like um caves of cud has moods i'm not i'm not um i'm really not like uh superstitious but i i do feel like caves of cud can have moods it gets moody you know it feels like maybe you're having too easy of a time and uh it'll throw some absolute dog shit at you like you know just just some some deranged nonsense and and you know just to just to make you suffer for a little bit and um so this helps me get a sense of what what uh you know what i'm in for right now uh you know maybe maybe it's just that i like you know i i get in a mood maybe and then like I, you know it's easy for me to blame uh inanimate object like caves of cud of course but um yeah like Maybe I'm just not like out of sync with the game. I'm I'm not feeling it. Uh, oh, we have a legendary. Well, I'm definitely feeling a legendary. Hated by worms, admired by swine, hated by the seekers of the sightless way. I would love, love to make friends with the seekers of the sightless way. So I will happily come over here and obliterate this snapshot. Wow, they took a they took a chain laser on the chin. Worms are indifferent to me. Swine it despise me. And uh, Seekers of the Sightless Way, they like me quite a bit more now. And that's that's nice. I'm happy about that. Seekers of the Sightless Way reputation is hard to come by. Um, it is difficult as anything else, really. And uh, I would I would like to I would like to be on good terms with them. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm doing a little bit of warm up. I'll, I'll watch the time. I don't want this to last more than like say ten minutes. Uh, I even thought about like maybe starting this with uh, you know 
doing some uh, ruin diving, but honestly, even ruin diving could be uh, spicier than I want it to be. Like, I really need, I need something kind of chill. I need, I need something chill to get me in the, in the mold. Uh, and then we'll, you know, like, I, I want to take things seriously. I really do. I want this to be a win. Uh, I want to beat this game uh, in its current state. I know that that's, we can't currently beat the game unless I want to uh, end it prematurely in a spoilery way and i still intend to do that i don't know when i want to do that one day maybe maybe if i stream caves of code again um which i'm not opposed to i wouldn't mind streaming some caves of code uh then um that would be a good way a good a good thing to do like you know that'll that would be a very pointed goal of like hey um, i'm playing caves of code and um today's goal is to win get a classic win um, I've been very much like this is this series has been uh, very much a culmination of a lot of things that I've learned um, from both Narf and Galen in terms of like how to play this game properly and um, when to take risks when not to take risks you know sometimes uh, sometimes you don't learn a thing until you're teaching someone else maybe that's one of the reasons you know uh, maybe one of the best ways to learn how to play a game is to start a tutorial series on how to play it there's a is that a bark biter i think that is a bark biter uh just a bear loved by bears admired by fish hated by antelopes my antelope rep is not doing very well negative 65 that being said uh it would be kind of really nice to get on better terms with fish So I'm, I'm actually going to make friends with this bear, and I do love my bear rep. Kipad is uh, not impressed with me. Fish, only 100 reputation with fish, huh? And I have no secrets to share with bear. I have no share with bear secrets. A bummer. I'm not going to try and turn that into a pun. That would just be unbearable. Um... <laughs> So, yeah, uh, th that's, it's our, it's our current plan. We're, we're just kind of roaming through this, the salt marsh. We're at seven minutes here. Uh, we're almost done the marsh, honestly. There's not really a lot of marsh left to do. But we still got a little bit. We've got some vast animuses. Ooh, this one's got light manipulation. Um, problem with the light manipulation is that means my chain laser has a chance to be deflected never mind <laughs> i don't know why i'm uh choosing to take them so seriously it just occurred to me if i'm on good terms with the seekers of the sightless way then what happens when i there's a vast animus what happens what happens when there's a vast animus on the screen are they like good with me will they just be chill because that's an interesting idea. Um, they're not legendaries. Like, they don't have any reputation. If they did, then you could become friendly with the Seekers of the Sightless Way really quite easily. Um, so I, I'm a little bit curious about that. But, yeah. Um, and I'm very interested in what uh, what's going on with the Gersh. Ooh, legendary Snapjaw shotgunner. Yeah, let's check that out. We also have a legendary ape on this screen. Um, that is not a legendary snap. I guess uh, they'll be pink for me now. I don't know what happened, but you know, we're good. Loved by apes, disliked by villagers of Shamish, hated by Snapjaws, hated by worms. What's our, what's our ape? Our ape reputation is actually really good. Um, I kind of want to kill this ape. Not for the snapjaw rep, but because we're very close to being on good terms with worms, um, I would like to be on good terms with worms. I probably should have done this a little bit smarter, but it's fine. 
the the chain laser turret really doesn't care about tactics not too much Ooh, they have a teleport skill i don't really want to be surrounded by ape 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 has cudgel oh yeah, our uh jacked laser turret you know what let's do a temporal fugue Oop. Pew 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 okay um or what's going on here shoot them there we go we only lose a little bit of ape rep i don't i, I don't expect my uh, to salvage snapjaw rep like it's that's an absolute nightmare not not gonna happen oh no i got flash banged by myself you guys need to chill oh god they threw freeze grenades <laughs> you guys need to chill with the with the grenades i mean that's half the reason to throw to do temporal fugue honestly is because they do throw out all of your consumables um but the other on the other end of that it's like very scary um you can you can accidentally destroy yourself very easily uh, Reshef, but no new Reshef lore. What are, are we, we're currently using our, uh, oh no, we are not using our, uh, we currently have a, a nano pneumatic jackhammer, um, equipped. We really should have our tail equipped, but I can't do it right now because, um, we're in combat. Maybe I can do it now. Nope. We're in combat. Uh, I like having the, the nano pneumatic jackhammer equipped and then just use the um, Just use like range for all of our actual combat, but you know Hated by newly sent into the oh, yeah, we're, we're destroying this guy for sure. Beep Dead Villagers of shed are happy with us newly sentient beings are cool with us um, We are actually salvaging I I, I um, Address this in the comments but i'll address it now verbally is that uh though i did make a horrible mistake with the water ritual you know the water bonding debacle if you want um i did review the footage and my gut reaction was like oh god i've i've a hundred percent blundered and i did um but the the, the run was not completely ruined i, I think i lost like a hundred reputation with a lot of factions which is a lot of combined uh, reputation, but it's actually um, not that bad. Did I see another legendary? I feel like there's another. Le oh, is it? Was there a corpse? Southeast. Oh, that's a legendary lizard. Loved by Snapjaws, admired by crabs. Disliked by the villagers of Kenalil. Hated by the villagers of Amrod. I really like crab re rep, but I do really want um, reputation with. Uh, oh God, we were actually pretty close to being on good terms with crabs. I do want uh, reputation with some of these villagers, and in fact, these the, the Kenalil is a village that I've um, built up quite a bit of trust with. So uh, that's a good trade. Like I say, you want to double down on um, the villages that you already have the most reputation with. Folk of the Colossal Shade of Karashir, I'm pretty sure I'm like negative 7,000 reputation with them. Let's just have a quick look here. Yo, shoot him though. I evaporated that wall. And I'm still using the Nano Pneumatic Jackhammer, unfortunately. I do do quite a lot of damage with it though. I mean, it's a really good weapon. Oh no, it's a different uh, cult. Do do. <laughs> um, all right, let's uh, equip our tail. Ah, we're in combat. Let's go upstairs and equip our tail. Boop. What do you mean you have nothing in that slot? Well, I know that it's our it's our stinger. I am really enjoying this run. I am really enjoying this build. Um, I honestly think that. Multiple legs is, um, a, I don't want to say broken. 
I don't think it's overpowered necessarily, but it is a very uh, good mutation for like your first run. And I also think that it's one of those mutations you're gonna overlook for a very long time. Like you, no one's gonna pick, I, like maybe I'm wrong about this, but I don't I really doubt that anyone would pick multiple legs for like their first playthrough of cut, right? They're gonna wanna pick the cool ones. like mental mutation mental mutations like esper builds uh disintegration is like a really great example wow this this like my robots love it um great example of a mutation that's like sounds really good but in actuality in actuality when you when you're using it in a in a run uh you have to be very proactive about it you have to know exactly when to use disintegration or um I'm probably um, misremembering what it's called, but you know what I mean. Uh, hopefully you know what I mean. But yeah, uh, so that's a great example of like a mutation that you probably don't want to pick on your first playthrough, but mu multiple legs, it sounds very boring, right? In the grand scheme of things. I know that it's not boring, of course. It's, you know, it's, it's a very good mutation uh, and it's, you know, it is cool in its own way, but like, uh, are you compared to something like, I don't know, you can bend the light around and shoot people. I mean, light manipulation is also a great, um, skill for your first run, but you know, I, I just feel like it's, it's going to be on the, on the, uh, lower end of a lot of people's lists for like the kind of mutation people take. I, this is a really difficult one. Cause Sharkamore, what is, uh, what is village with Sharkamore? I mean, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, we're at negative 240. That's actually great because I, I can happily uh, sacrifice a bit more reputation with Sharkamore um, in exchange for villages of Urkawar and. Oh, we get more un Unshelled Reptile rep. When did that. I didn't even realize they were disliked by Unshelled Reptiles. Anyway. Um, I just, I just, I'm bigging up, uh, the, the multiple legs. I think they're one of my favorite, one of my favorite, uh, mutations. We are, we're at three polygels. That is really nice. Um, hmm. I need to shed some weight. I don't know how, uh, we could get rid of a tattoo gun. I know. I get, there's a there's a weird fan base for the tattoo gun and I'm not sure why admired by the villages of Ipar disliked by a couple others let's just have a look here Ipar is at negative 155 therefore I am totally cool with sacrificing more you got to double down you got to double down on your good and bad decisions I think that that is uh, a big part of how to get ahead in cud i'm not gonna say i'm a i'm an expert on which factions are like the best i think that robot is like one of the one one faction that you should try and make friends with every single run and i would almost sacrifice just about every single other faction to do so um just about there are definitely uh, exceptions to that rule um we are struggling with weight now oh this mag magnetic bottle is actually really good bits i forget why we want that but i'm just gonna go ahead and disassemble it for now or am i we do have a what is this electrified iron mace well that's an easy easy drop it's probably probably what we picked up now that's a legendary chest. What is that doing here? We haven't even seen the legendary shotgunner yet. This is at 20 minutes. I'm so sorry. Bethesda Seuss is getting shortchanged here. Did you recover the prism? Do not know. Okay, so it's just a graffitied chest. It looks very much like a... Uh, it looks very much like a legendary chest. Ooh, look at all this good stuff. Got a carbine and a love injector and a copper nug. I really should stop picking up copper nuggets. 
Yeah, I'm carrying too much to move. Why are we carrying too much to move? What did we pick up? I, I mean, copper nuggets, probably. Oh, we have a dram of sunslag. I should drink that. Our quickness is increased. Um, I guess uh, maybe a part of me played with the idea of like, let's do the same thing to sunslag as we do with uh, as we do with cloning draughts, which is to say there's our legendary shotgunner hated by urchins. OK, we kill. Which is to say, let's um, let's put it in a water skin and then metamorphic polygel it and then, you know, do that three more times. Um, it's a very expensive strategy, whatever you want to call it, uh, exploit. We are, I don't know, we're, oh, we're taking poison damage. I guess that was a poison grenade. We are very barely staying ahead of, uh, our weight constraints right now. Are we still using, are we using the nano pneumatic jackhammer? I didn't realize, we, I guess we can't, like, that's why it took so long to break through. Like, that's some of the weakest blocks. Okay, how much, we really don't have that much, um, we still have a legendary croc. I have a funny feeling we already visited this croc, but I'm gonna, yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, we did. So let's just go ahead and unmark that. Is there any layer I haven't been to? Oh, Sultan croc. Bloated leech, shrewd baboon. These are, these are all ones I haven't been to, but we've been to this one. We haven't been to this mad pole. Now I would normally not care and not mark mad poles at all. Um, but I am trying to be on good terms with fish, almost specifically because of mad poles. Um, let's go to. Let's go to our six day stilt. Yeah. We'll, ch we'll check out some, uh, some ruins real quick. Let's go to our six day stilt. I, I do want to prepare. I don't want to just like go to Bethesda Sousa. Is there anything that could use, um, woolly? Like what is our, our cold resist is at 39 right now. That's pretty good. I don't know how much it needs to be. Can we like mod? uh mirror shades with woolly nope wouldn't that be nice oh we have jacked right we actually know the jacked mod now wonder what else we could put on jacked i don't know if there is anything else i don't think that there's anything else outside of flawless crystal shard mail that um could be woolly we can't mod this unfortunately um yeah, the only thing is if we could m make our shades woolly, but we can't. Wouldn't that be funny, though? What does that even look like? What do you think that would... Like, here's the thing. I don't think that that's honestly that strange. Because when you think about... Um, like, when you think about, like, snowboarding, go you know, goggles, uh, you could put, like... Well, I guess I know they don't have fur, but there's ways of making... Uh, your goggles kind of protect your face a bit better. I guess my major question is, would they would they then uh, fog up a bit too much? What did we pick up that we were not disassembling? We just picked up a... Uh, we just picked up a, a, a str some strange tubes and we're not dropping them or we're not disassembling them? Trinket. Oh my god, we have 11 of these. How are we not treating these as scrap? That's 11 pounds we just got rid of. We have a Becoming Nook. That's nice. Weird Artifact. Stabilizer Arm Locks. Sure, we'll pick those up. Despite my better judgment. Um, okay, that's it for that. We are going to Six Day Stilt. Uh, we're basically going to hit up all of our major... Um, you know, our, our major shops sell as much as we can drop off some stuff that isn't relevant to bethesda susa um crystal coronet huh mm, it's how much av is it it's only three av we gain a little bit of dv i don't think that that's worth it 
Um, personally, I, I, don't, I don't think that that's a good... I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> Mostly because uh, it's not flawless. Like, there's really not much reason. I, I just, like, I skip um, normal Crystal every game now. Because it's like the difference between Crystal and Flawless Crystal is very small, but enough to make a difference. You know, like it's it's exactly enough to care, make me care. Um, let's just sell one of these chem cells for a silver nugget, sure. Um, so like, yeah, I, I I just like I don't want normal Crystal. There's no point in taking it, as far as I'm concerned. Like there is, there, if I found it, I would be very happy. Um, but like if I'm gonna buy it, I may as well pay the extra money to have flawless crystal. I'm um, just gonna double check. Do we have? I'm gonna have to go all the way to the bottom here. Do we have polarized? I don't think we do actually, so I wouldn't mind having polarized. Polarized. Try hologram bracelet. I really like the try hologram bracelet. Um, but I'm not going to pay for it. I'm cool with this. I'll sell these goggles. Uh, no, I won't sell those goggles. I don't know if I know how to make goggles. Is the, is a problem? Oh, we'll sell these, uh, stabilizer arm locks. Perfect. I also want to check out our Iker merchants. You are famished. I'm just trying to think what, what is the worst thing that could happen at Bethesda Sousa? Like we're on good terms with, um, with Ooze. I think we're actually on good, good enough terms with Ooze that we would not be attacked by Ooze. Um, yeah, 315, that's pretty good. We're on good term with Unshelled Reptiles. Those are like the main ones. Robots would be good too, but I don't know like, I don't think there's, a, like, such an awful robot at the at Bethesda Sousa that it would, like, cost us. You know, like, it would it would ruin everything. I don't think that there's a robot there or a, a series of robots even that would, um, you know, cost us the game. The thing I'm honestly the most worried about is the trolls. I'm not kidding. The trolls are... I, I'm, I'm giving me a little bit of anxiety. There's, there's a joke in there somewhere. Let's, uh, let's sell some chem cell or a chem cell for this. How's our meds doing or tonics? What are we at for tonics? 12 blaze. Oh, wow, we really didn't even need that. 55 salve injectors? I don't think I've ever seen that many. How did I get to 55 salve injectors? My goodness. Holy crap <laughs> i'm just gonna break the guy's wall again i i got the people deserve to shop um congealed skulk i don't think i need any of this uh let's check our last schematics drafter six fingered six fingered is quite good I think I can actually use that now, maybe? Slip ring. Slip ring is uh, good in theory. It's, it's, I think it's exactly good once in the entire game. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But I feel like it's only useful in the Tomb of the Eaters, and I'm pretty sure the game gives you it if you're paying attention as you're getting to the Tomb of the Eaters. I think that is correct. Could be wrong. Okay, um, F2. We're dumping some more books in this chest. This chest is starting to get pretty good. It's getting there anyway. Um, we're at 355. I kind of want to just like drop another chest somewhere. Oh, we already have one here, okay. What do we have here? Uh, some stuff. So let's draw- we, we're gonna put another pair of mechanical wings in there. 
Uh, we'll drop the rainbow weave cloak, sure, and the stereocopter backpack. Uh, uh, yeah, why not? That too. Point defense drone. If I if I could get put uh, jacked on the point uh, point defense drone, that might actually be really nice. I don't know if a floating point thing can be jacked though. I don't know if that works. Um, I'm definitely gonna put the nano pneumatic jackhammer in there because um, as we saw in um, oh, I definitely need my carbide shield. As we saw in Galen's run, uh, there's a there's a couple of good ways you can use an anonymatic jackhammer and then the um, the the borer spiral borer that actually completely circumnavigates but <laughs> either Bethesda Susa or the asphalt mines, which I really like. Um, let's put a bit of water in there. Uh, maybe not that much water. Okay, there we go. We still have like more stuff than we need, but I'm okay with this. Let's see. Uh, first of all, let's learn all of our data disks. Oh, we can't learn. Yeah, face harmonic is uh, Tinker three. We'll learn polarized. We'll learn uh, six fingered, and um, we have what do we have on our hands? Yeah, flawless crystal gauntlets. What do we? What would? Putting six fingered on, on that cost uh, too much. We can't do it. Um, we can't put woolly on there either, in case you were wondering. Um, what can we put on our feet? Nulling. What did putting nulling on shoes do? Astrally burdens its wielder. That's interesting. Uh, we are actually kind of mentally, so I'm not going to do that. What can we put on our... We can put jacked on the mirror shades. Polarized. We may as well put polarized in the on the mirror shades. That makes sense. We could put jacked on them, but that that's a nano material to, to do that. I don't know if that's worth it. Um... Let's remove the nano pneumatic jackhammer. I guess uh, I wouldn't mind wearing something on our back. And if we're going to wear something, it may as well be something like, I don't know. I was thinking the rainbow. Yeah, let's put the rainbow weave cloak on. Can we mod this with it? Uh, oh, we could put woolly on the on this. That's pretty good, actually. That'll help. That helps. Um, let's put our scaled carbide shield on there is there anything else we can put on in our other hand i don't know we could hold a glow sphere i suppose me as well uh lecture stained band what does that do i have to check everyone some all clairvoyance that's actually very useful um we could mod hologram bracelet with jacked let's do that Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of it. I don't know if there's anything else we really need to do. We're at almost 300. We're still kind of overweight, but it could be just that we have a lot of stuff. Um, I'm going to disassemble this magnetic bottle. It's, it's kind of bothering me that I have it. The point defense drone, I'd really like to wear that. Um, problem is, is it requires taking off logical Uther Percher boon. And this is giving us electrical generation. Very, very useful. Can't really do it. Uh, all right, well, too famished to travel long distances. You, you might have known, you must have known, if I said we were going to do Bethesda Seuss in the last episode, and I wasn't preparing specifically for it, that we were probably going to do one episode of preparation for Bethesda Seussa. Even though we are pretty well prepared for Bethesda Seussa, um, it really, you just, you just need to take it, you know, you need to respect Bethesda Seussa, because, good lord, if you don't, it's, um, debatably 
you know, no matter when you do it, unless you have the right reputation, it's debatably the hardest dungeon in the game. Like, it's it really is all of that. I think it personally, I find it more difficult than Tomb of the Eaters. Um, I find it. Oh, haha! <laughs> you got mental mirrored. Get mental mirrored, bud. We got our stinger equipped. Um, it, it's it's a toughie. So you know, here's here here's uh, hoping that this doesn't end the entire run. If you are enjoying the series, definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll end with a clairvoyance. How about that? Boop. There it is. See you guys next time.